Hello everyone and welcome to this mini tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to recreate this pop icons animation using Move by Linearity. Let's start with the new file. Go to File, New. As a resolution, pick the preset square. And as a frame rate, we're going to leave it at 30 FPS. Click Confirm. We're going to import files into our scene. So go to New Scene, Import, and select the file provided called Pop Icons Animation. Click Open. In the Import panel, you will see as many artboards as there are on your curve file, which in this case is just one. Click the artboard and drag and drop it into the Scene Builder line. Click Import. Now double click the scene to start editing. You can see that in our curve file we grouped every single object separately and we also named them properly, like the pencil, the play button, the pause button, the eye, the polaroid. All background squares are in a separate layers and they are locked in because we don't need to change anything. We're going to animate the first icon, the Polaroid. I'm going to select it in the layer panel. I'm going to open the group to see all the elements that compose this icon. I'm also going to zoom in on the canvas. The first thing we want to do is to animate the mountains. I'm going to bring the playhead to second number one. And I'm going to create a keyframe here. Press K on the keyboard to do so. This way I've created a set moment onto the timeline. Go back to second zero. Select the mountains and drag them down a little bit, holding shift to make sure that they move on a straight line. We want to create the same animation, but in the opposite direction at the end of our animation. So bring the playhead to second number four. Open the layers to have a look at the position keyframes. And now copy the keyframes. Select the last one, Command C to copy, Command V to paste. Select the last one of the other mountain, Command C to copy, Command V to paste and then bring the pay playhead at the very end of the timeline and now copy and paste the first keyframe of each object. Command C, Command V, Command C, Command V. So this way the mountains will move up and then move back down at the end of the animation. Now it's time to animate the moon. We want the moon to be out of the frame at the beginning of the animation. So let's move it outside of the Polaroid boundaries. Then move the keyframe roughly in the middle of the animation and bring the moon back onto its position. Last step of this animation, bring the playhead at the end and move the moon outside of the Polaroid. Let's preview this animation. Mountains go up, the moon comes in and then it goes out as everything comes back to its initial position. Let's animate the second icon. I'm going to close all the layers and move the canvas to highlight my second icon, the eye. On the layer panel, open the group and have a look at all the elements that we have in this icon. We want the eye to look right and left and the lids to open and close as they do so. So the pupil will start at the center. Move the playhead to second one and then move the pupil to the left. Hold the shift while you do so, so everything will move on a straight line. Then move the playhead to second two. Bring the pupil at the center move it to second three and while holding shift bring the pupil to the right and then last keyframe we're going to position at second four and we're going to reposition everything at the center remember to hold shift we're now going to animate the eyelid bring the pair head to second one 
and then select the white oval. On the toolbar, select the node tool. Click the node at the top of the eye and bring it down. Click and drag and hold shift while you do so. Do the same with the bottom lid. Click and drag and hold shift so the node will stay at the center. Open the group and have a look at the keyframes of the path animation. Command C to copy. Move the playhead a little bit further to second three. And then Command V to paste. We want the eye to end open, not close. So last step, we're going to bring the playhead at the end and copy the keyframe where the eyelid are open. Command C, Command V. Perfect, let's preview this animation. As you can see, the pupil is moving left and right and the eyelid is closing and opening, but the pupil is still outside of the boundaries of the eye. To solve that, we're going to select both group two, hold shift and select oval two, so they're both selected, then right click and select mask selection. Let's preview this animation now and you'll see that everything is inside the boundaries of the eye whilst moving left and right. Let's close the eye group and move our canvas to the right. So we are going to animate the play and pause button now. Bring the playhead to the beginning. As you can see, the play and pause button are already here grouped together. The animation that we want to create is for them to go bigger and smaller and then alternate the animation. First, let's give them the same animation by holding shift and selecting them both. Then move the playhead to second one. Click the lock icon on the style panel and change the value of the size of the two objects to 220. Hit enter. Maybe this is a bit too big. Let's go for 200. Perfect. Then go to second tool with your playhead. Open the groups to see the size animation. And what we're gonna do is to copy the starting frame and paste it at second tool. Command C to copy, Command B to paste. Command C to copy and Command B to paste. We're going to repeat the same thing another time. We're going to copy the second keyframe, Command C, and paste it, Command B. Same thing for the pause button, Command C to copy and Command B to paste. One last time, so they both go back to their original state. First keyframe, Command C to copy and Command B to paste. First keyframe for the second button, Command C to copy, Command B to paste. Let's preview this animation. As you can see, they're now going bigger and smaller, but we want them to alternate. To do so, close the groups and then select the animation bar corresponding to the play button. Click and drag it until the first keyframe is aligned with the second keyframe of the pause button, like so. Let's preview the animation now. As you can see, the animation is now alternated. Perfect. Last but not least, we're going to animate the pencil. Move the canvas up and zoom out a little bit. And click the pencil group at the top. We're going to create a rotation animation that will make the pen swing left and right. The pen will start at the center and then bring the playhead to second one. Use the selection tool and use the handle at the top of the shape to rotate the object to the left, like so. Then move the playhead to second number two and rotate 
the object the opposite direction roughly the same degrees. Go to second three, rotate back to the left, go to second four, rotate to the right, and then bring the playhead to the very end of your timeline. And this time I'm going to use the style panel and input zero degrees. Hit return. Bring your playhead at the beginning and zoom out. Let's preview our entire animation. Now all the icons are animated in lovely sync. Don't forget to export your file. Go to File, Export, and share your results with us. Thank you for joining me today. See you in the next tutorial.